Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, we fought the Great Ochre... I think that's its name, at least. At, at least. At least. <laughs> and, uh, kind of kicked the crap out of it. Well, he kicked the crap out of us, and then I went, eh, I'm not quite fine with this, and went to grab some stuff. Oh, hey, I found Amber and a Dirt Ball. Cool. Awesome. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be going to the Crystal Caverns, but first... Some monsters respawn after you leave an area, but that those are which are blocking paths usually don't. There's no need to fight them again, but sometimes the extra golden experience is useful. Power leveling is kind of cheap, though. I prefer to think that strategy is most important than high stats. By the way, have you been scanning all the monsters you see? You really should. Some monsters drop rare items that you can't find otherwise, and it may be worth hunting a bunch of them. Check your bestiary for more info. So, wind does not affect these people, so what we just learned? Alright. Scanbot, go! You guys should recognize these from the last game. Blue Clay, level 7, a sword-wielding warrior that uses wind attacks. They are weak to earth, water, and explosions. Interesting. So, water, you say? Oh, I probably should have used earth. Fuck. Ah, it's fine. It's probably fine and move to backup so this is how this works you can swap out with uh, your backup member anytime so I just realized he doesn't actually have any bomb skills yet because I haven't leveled him oh uh yeah let's uh let's swap you back out and are you resistant to fire? You're not resistant to fire, you say. That's unfortunate. There we go. Water, you say. Fire, maybe? Yeah, okay, cool. Try to poison this guy. No poison, but it's working fine. I love high accuracy attacks like that. Got a bunch of iron ore and a brick. And that's the end of that battle. You can rearrange the order of your party and the party member. You can also use the move to backup command in battle. And this does not use up a turn. That's an important thing to note because, you know, that's awesome. That guy's dead. Uh, let's use no legs. Oh, and that kicked in, so now he's stunned for two turns. And we're done. Concrete works well with those bricks that you've saved up, as well as kiwi. Yeah, so Ashwood Forest would leave us up, like lead us up here, and that's cool and all, but it put us here instead of over there. And I don't know why, but I think that if we're coming in, we should come in over there. So we can't get that yet, because we don't have a hammer. Uh, I'll try using this. That works just fine. Use the scan bot. Alright. Evil Mushroom, level 8. A large mushroom uses non-elemental attacks and inflicts status problems. It has low evade. And Snail, level 7, a defensive creature which uses water attacks. They're both weak to Earth. I mean, that's about the only similarity. Ooh, 
Ooh, morale. Cannot be killed in one hit if HP is above 50%. One hit, you say? <laughs> uh, that was, let's see, it's, technically it's not one hit. Seashell. Some creatures used to live in this. Got a donut, cake, and cupcake, which reminds me, what I wanted to check was Candy King. So, who's evade is the... Wow, Lance's evade isn't good. I normally make Lance my evasion guy. Uh, I'm gonna give that honor to Anna. Magic defense, give that to her. Wow, his attack is honestly awful. Okay. I'm giving all this to Anna. So, where are we going then? Care to explain yet? We're gonna go to the town of Whitefall, which has been at the other end of this cave system, if we don't go the wrong way. I need to see if the jewel of Whitefall has been stolen too. So there's more than one jewel now? What? Is, why are they so important? If you collect them all, they're supposed to bring about a terrible disaster, like something so bad it would be completely changed the world for the worst. Or at least that's what I've been told. Meow meow meow. Meow meow meow. Yeah? Shut up, no legs. We're listening to the storyline. This could be important. Can't understand you anyway. You're a cat. So that's why you're trying so hard to get the jewels back. I guess we better find out if someone's out there to steal them all, or if the first one's just a single event. Yep, and if the other jewels haven't been stolen yet, we'll have to spread the word and help protect them. There's some sort of fossil here in this rock. There are ca these caverns must be extremely old. Do you think it's valuable? I hope there's more of them. So if you find those little things there, then you can actually, you know, take them with you. These were kind of thieves like that. Okay. Water on you. And now... Time for Scanbot, 3,000. Heads up, rocks are falling. Okay, these are rock sprites, a creature which embodies the spirit of Earth, uses Earth attacks. They are very weak to bombs, poison, darkness, water, and ice. And done. We actually got geodes, which we need to upgrade things, so that's perfect. Okay, so we need more red LEDs if we wanna, wanna upgrade that anymore. Um, oh, I can actually upgrade this further. Ready my cast tank cannon in between turns, so I want to upgrade that. Geodes can be used for that, but let's see if it can be used for anything else. Does not look like it. Um, randomly blesses the player doesn't seem like the best thing to upgrade, so I'd rather not use this emerald I got. I think I'll wait to use that emerald for something else. Amber, gunpowder, and fine fur. Cactus, hand bombs, and springs. Okay, so the snail is weak to earth, poison, and ice. These are two... I mean, it's poison, so why not? It makes sense just to kill him as fast as possible. So, I have a better Earth skill that I haven't had the chance to try out, and that thing's dead. Yeah, these guys aren't exactly terrifying if you upgrade the correct skills. So we'll be fine, there's nothing that can touch us in this area. So we can't get in here due to all the rocks, so... I mean, we can pass this guy by if we want, but let's fight him. Let's try poison. He's actually resistant to poison. Let's try earth. 
and he's weak to earth. Scan bot time. All right. So red clay, a sword wielding warrior, which uses fire and earth magic. They're weak to earth, ice, water, and explosions, but are immune to poison. Oh, right. It's only 50% poison. So they only take half damage to that poison attack. That's why. So yeah, that totally would have murdered him, even if he wasn't weak to poison. That's pretty cool. They are weak to water, though, so I may as well, you know, fire water at him. Wow, Anna's pretty good, to be honest. If she's taking... If she's dealing that much damage when it's not even as effective. Alright, let's check Lance's skills now. Okay, I want Airstrike, which I need this to do anyway. Now, Airstrike. If I want it, I need 300 AP. I, wow, I need a lot to upgrade that. Ooh, uh, can you learn that? Advanced bomb magic may stagger targets. So I want him to be the bomb aficionado. So it makes sense that he would learn all these kind of things. So I'll let him learn those later. I don't think we'll be able to get through this pile of rubble. We'll have to go around. Slime Bunny has blessed the party, restoring their HP and MP because that was totally necessary. And that guy will not be a problem for us. Like, at all. Oh, I didn't realize they're all like that, uh... You know, whatever. Um... I guess ice on you. Really? It's not dead? Maybe no legs to pop up and kill it. And it's dead. And it's dead. He like, still hasn't popped up to take care of that. I'm actually a bit disappointed. Oh well. Natalie gets... Right, she still has the fire weapon on. Done. Anna gets the kill, because I haven't taken that off Natalie yet, because there's no reason to use that here. Why use the fire weapon in an area filled with these enemies? Um... Okay, no. No more flare. So we got pumpkins, pineapples, and orange juice. Not bad. The way forward is blocked by this giant door. You'll need the candle to open it, buddy. Another super rare key item? Where can we find it? It's hidden nearby, but you'll have to solve a block puzzle to get it. I'm not strong enough to push the blocks, unfortunately. Ah, oh, what? Yeah, Matt has a thing completely against block puzzles. These crystals are beautiful, and there's so many of them. Yeah, sadly in this area, everything's shiny. So you won't be able to get away with just walking up to a shiny thing and just hitting spacebar and giving you the item. Sadly, it's the case. On the bright side, the enemies are very weak to that bamboo. And this earth attack. And this fire attack. Yeah, the enemies here aren't really a problem. Eh, why waste the MP? And done. Everyone but Ana leveled up. Chain Link, Fine Fur, and Rainbow Gems.
Okay. How to do this. Oh. Uh... Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, yeah, I understand. Then I step around this, push this over here, and I can push that up there. And I get a free chest. Got the candle. I've hidden my most precious creation in this cavern to help you through the darkness. You'll need to solve the puzzle to prove your worthiness. Paul Waxman, the father of the candle. And time to stop for that enemy, because it's beautiful. And that thing's dead with a crit. And that's fire. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do ice. That thing's very much dead. And now time for a scan bot. Black Clay, an axe wooden warrior, warrior which uses dark attacks. It is very weak to light, so... I mean, I wonder what I'm going to do. Oh, really? Okay. It's, uh... It's weak to anything else she has. Not really, so just use ice. Oh! I mean, okay. Three of these new guys. More water. Wait, really? He's not dead? Man, that, uh... That thing's actually pretty good. That randomly healing thing. Recovers HP at the start of each turn. And time is stopped for this guy. Let's abuse that a little bit. I actually don't know how much time is stopped because I think only three things can pop up at once. Either that or just didn't work for some reason. Maybe he's resistant to it. Uh, no, I think that's just stun, so no, he's not resistant at all. Doesn't really matter though. Okay, we got glass, concrete, and dirt balls. Cool. And you guys recognize this? This beautiful place on the other side of this uh, place over here? Pretty nice, right? Ooh, new enemies. That's often an insta-kill attack, that one. Not always, though. Sadly, I can't really revive her, but what I can do is swap her out. Step over the dead. and uses Lance's first actual turn in combat to scan, just like the old days. This is a Frost Wraith, 
a level 9 ghost which uses ice and dark attacks and may instantly kill players. Yeah, it's not exactly the best thing in the world. We got Liquid Ice, a rare form of ice only found in warm climates, and Solid Water, a rare form of water only found in cold climates. Yeah, th because this game is that dumb. We got the Magma Hammer, may burn targets, boost the power of fire skills, may cast Fume with certain skills. Alright. We appear to be done here. Now that we got the candle, we can light those torches and get past that huge stone door. Used flash. And I don't have another copper key, so I can't open that. Let's check out what medals we've gotten. We got the Lumberjack, defeat Mighty Oak on epic difficulty. The gang's all here, find all your missing party members. Level 10, reach level 10, that's a good start, but there's still a long way to go. Digging too deep, enter the Crystal Caverns for the first time. Keys and lock stuff. Use a key to access new treasures, but you should have figured that out on your own. Step over the dead. Clear away a player's rotting corpse. Use flash. Light a torch with your candle. Fire magic doesn't work for some reason. And... I believe that's everything. Yeah. So guys, next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy IV, we'll be moving on to the Crystal Caverns. We've only just entered them. We have another two episodes to go, probably, until we're done with them. So guys, I'll see you in this fun-filled geo-fossil-filled place. I don't know. See you guys then.